Hello everybody, welcome back to Ration Nerd. Today we have uh, a civilian ration made by All Go Outdoors. This is essentially a civilian version of a first strike ration with uh, not all the items that come in a first strike ration. We'll get into that here in a second. But this is menu number two, barbecued beef sandwich. This is going to be a lot of U.S. MRE items and Bridgeford items, all made for the made and packaged for the U.S. military. So we're going to get into this guy and check it out. So breaking right in here, it does come in a big Ziploc bag. <clears throat> I like the utility of this because a lot of the U.S. MRE items have a tendency to have a really long shelf life. That said, I'm not that fond of all the U.S. military MRE items. They're heavily processed, generally have a long list of ingredients. However, this particular ration sold by Algo Outdoors is budget friendly. This thing is about $20. And if you've ever looked for Bridgeford items and U.S. military MRE items, it's a pretty good value. You know, uh, I would prefer it came in a sealed bag like an MRE, but it being in a Ziploc bag is no big deal. I like the idea of having one of these in your car just for an emergency. So let's break into this guy and find out exactly what your $20 gets you from All Go Outdoors. So we have our label. We have a pack of plain tortillas. A cheese spread, one ounce. Chocolate flavored first strike bar. Here's another one of those kind of like forever foods. I've had a couple of these that were severely out of date and they didn't taste any different than a brand new first strike bar. So you know, it's a 65 gram bar and something that has a really long shelf life. So that's really cool. You've got some barbecued corn nuggets. Kind of like these, I can't lie. I know they're not great for you, but yeah, I mean, they're kind of a cool item. We've got the dreaded fruit punch. This stuff is super artificial. Um, the only thing that's great about this pouch is you could actually use this to drink out of. It's gonna make a mess out of you. There's no zipper at the top. There's no gusset. However, you can literally just add this, add water to this pouch. It's only calling for 12 ounces, so this would certainly hold 12 ounces. We are not, however, gonna make a mess out of this today. We're just going to put it in a glass so you can see what it looks like. This stuff is generally extremely, extremely artificial tasting. And we've got your teriyaki beef stick. This is going to be a double wrapped branded named beef stick. These are not too bad. We have a barbecue sauce. That's interesting. That's a pretty cool addition. We have your accessory pack, we'll get into that in a minute. We have your mildly worthless US flameless ration heater. I mean, I say that every once in a while you have one of these that'll work pretty well, but in general, the US MREs are pretty lackluster the amount of heat they'll put out in your meal. We have a spoon, which is always great. So I can take this one and move it out of the way. And then we have the star of the show, which is your beef with barbecue sauce. And that's going to be a Bridgeford sandwich. So, you know, I kind of have an idea what to do with this barbecue sauce. It's a really cool addition. I just don't know exactly what you do with it because these sandwiches don't necessarily need a whole lot of sauce to go with them. But we'll give it a shot. And then our accessory kit. I think we're kind of getting gypped. We get no coffee. So you got your standard butt wipe, which let's be honest. 
I don't know whose butt this is wiping, but this is not butt wipe, this is booger paper. So if you have a really bad, pretty mean booger, this is your go-to. You might be able to blow your nose on this, maybe, but I'm thinking this is just booger paper. If I had to wipe my backside with this, it would be a pretty sad experience. Um, I have a feeling there would be some poke through going on. I'd never want to touch myself with that hand again. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's booger paper. So you got your booger paper. We have a beverage base lemonade, which has gotten kind of crusty in this package. Okay. We have an iodized salt, which good God almighty, you don't need this salt with all these other items. The sodium level in this has got to be crazy, but hey, you got a moist towelette for cleaning up your digits. That's kind of nice. And you have your cinnamon flavored chewing gum. That's certainly my preference in the USMREs is the cinnamon, so that's pretty cool. So we'll get all this stuff out onto a tray. We'll be right back. All right, so let's first, we'll get this beef with barbecue sauce sandwich uh, starting to heat up in the flameless ration heater. So let's get that taken care of first. And you're about to see what I mean about the US flameless ration heaters. With them just being kind of small. And uh, it's kind of a stink. So, as you can see, this is the sealed seam here, and this is the packaging. So, I'm totally not blaming Algo for this problem. This is a USMRE issue. So, you've always got to take and find creative ways to just cram something else in there. So, the best thing you're going to do is just fold these corners over. gently slide your ration down the side of the bag. I've had a bunch of these tear on me when I was just, just putting a single retort pouch inside. And this has a lot sharper edges than a retort pouch does because of all those teeth on the exterior that are meant for you to, to tear into it like this teriyaki stick. Now you watch, because I'm sitting here picking on this flameless ration heater, I'm going to set this thing down and it's going to shoot off the table like a rocket ship, but it's unlikely. We'll see what happens. So we'll try to get all the water in the bottom and get this thing activated. On the Eastern European rations, what they will do, or not all of them, but a lot of them, they will have a piece of tape that's already attached here, which allows you to roll a ration bag over and then pull up and put a piece of tape on it, which certainly helps keep the steam inside of the bag. So, you know what? This guy's not doing too bad. It's already starting to get warm, but I don't hold out a whole lot of hope for it. So we'll find a rock or something and lean that guy up again so it can do its thing. Now we'll get to making this fruit punch. That is amazing coloration of the inside of a foil line pouch. It's one of the reasons why I'm not extremely crazy about the US drinks. They're very artificial not only in taste but in color and you can see that is just more you can have the fruit flavor and your electrolytes all in one go with without needing all this crazy red dye inside of it so this was calling for 12 ounces
Look at, the, look at the chunky action on the spoon. That's just, um, mm. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna set that off to the side. Maybe it'll hydrate some of that garbage that's floating around in there. Let's get some of this other stuff opened up here, like this teriyaki beef stick. Yep, and this is just a repack. This one's a different brand than I'm accustomed to seeing, Grace and Natural Farms. I can dig that. These teriyaki sticks are normally pretty good. Then we have our First Strike Bar, chocolate flavor, which I've had. These are pretty decent. Nice, shiny texture. Really, really stiff. Got to have some decent teeth to get behind this guy. But they are, rel they are relatively tasty. Let's listen to that. So I'm not 100% sure, other than just for calorie content. So you have 220 calories of tortillas. And I can't complain about that. Tortillas are good. And these tortillas that are shelf stable, that made by Sterling Foods for the U.S. military, they're good. They really just taste like a regular tortilla that you would buy at the store. They generally don't have any kind of chemical flavor, even though they have stabilizers added to keep them shelf stable. So, you know, coming in at 220 calories, I mean, it's just carbs. You know, there's really not a whole lot going on other than carbohydrates in this. But it is a great ration item certainly a little bit of a comfort food can't go wrong with tortillas i kind of have an idea what i'm gonna do with them because i don't know what else to do with them in this pack got your do not eat and then we get some nice soft tortillas so meanwhile while we're waiting on our FRH to heat up our sandwich. If you get this cheese spread, you're going to want to knead the hell out of it simply because the oils in this separate. And um, I'm not sure if this is really actually cheese or not on this stuff. I'm going to prefer not to read the ingredients. I do say that the first ingredient says cheddar cheese. However, ground beef as far as the USDA concerned, is no longer just ground up cow. There's other stuff in there, so maybe this is the same, and that cheddar cheese is a product more than a description. So you're definitely going to want to knead this up pretty good. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use what we have here. And we're going to make some corn nugget cheese and barbecue tortillas because I don't know exactly what else you would do with this. Now, the US MRE cheese spread used to be one and a half ounces, which was, well, 50% more. Now they've reduced it to one ounce. I'm not sure what their logic is behind that other than just cutting costs because going from one ounce to one and a half ounces, well, that's a cost saver. But it's kind of a bummer, because this cheese spread isn't bad. I would certainly describe it as... So, I don't know what else to do with these ingredients, and I'm not even really complaining. Don't take that as a complaint. This is, this is a very budget-friendly, first-strike-style ration. This is going to be cheesy and salty and crunchy and covered in barbecue sauce. Everything that you get 
and a USMRE that comes in these packs like this that's a sauce or a spread or a peanut butter or anything you certainly want to knead it up to make sure that everything is completely mixed when you're getting it out of the package so we're going to drizzle that with a little bit of barbecue sauce And then we'll get our teriyaki stick out. Which, this is just a processed teriyaki stick. A lot like a very large Slim Jim, generally. They're a touch more natural tasting than a Slim Jim. They're not too bad. They're certainly a good source of protein and salt. So let's get our other tortilla fixed up here. Haha. -ha. Don't eat that. And we still have some corn nuggets left over as a side item. So let's give that teriyaki beef stick a try. Yep, that's a lot like a Slim Jim. A lot less spicy and easier to eat than a Slim Jim. There's nothing spectacular about this, but there's also nothing horrible about it. It's a processed meat stick. That's not too bad. This stuff over here is looking like movie prop blood or something. It's just kind of rough looking. It's certainly not mixing up very well. It looks very, very thick. We'll add a little bit more water to that, try to help the situation. Get our booger wipe here. That's Crayola Red flavor. So we're still waiting for our barbecue sandwich to warm up some more. The heater is doing okay. I mean, it's doing better than your average USMRE heater, but, you know, here's me holding it in my hand, and I'm not just tossing it down. These things should be roaring along by now. Um, that's my biggest issue with the USMRE flameless ration heater so we will just give these corn nuggets a taste these ought to be a nice loud chew for the camera and that's what you're working with it's not mixing up very well this water is just room temperature it's not cold so this really shouldn't have much of a problem mixing up we'll give that a try That tastes very artificial. It certainly doesn't taste like Gatorade. It doesn't even really taste like Fruit Punch. If I had to describe it, it simply tastes red. Like if you'd imagine the color red having a taste, that's it. It's not horrible, but there's so many better drink items you could potentially put inside of a ration. That one sucks. And although corn is not the most nutritious thing on the planet, these certainly are good. They're very crunchy. Uh, there's no popcorn-like kernels that are too hard to chew. They're just extremely crunchy, salty. They have a nice barbecued flavor. Not overly salty. A tiny touch of sweetness to them. Kind of like a, a barbecued corn chip, but this is really just pieces of corn that have been dried out and made really crunchy. These are definitely a nice texture addition. Those are great. Making these things was just all I could see that I could really do with the items to make them interesting. 
So let's get one of these corn and barbecue corn cheese soft tacos a try. That's that's pretty much what we're working with here. Mm, I mean, you know, for an emergency meal, for something you'd have hanging around in your car, this would certainly get get you by in a pinch. You kind of need all those corn nuggets on there, though, to give you really something to to bite into with this guy, but this is the only thing I can see that you can realistically do with these components unless you just eat the tortillas and cheese, which is fine, but I just wanted to make them a little bit more interesting. You know, that's not bad. It's cheesy, crunchy, the tortilla. Well, it's a tortilla. It's nice and soft and chewy. You know, having something else to go in here, like a meat, or any other kind of, I don't know, something to go in there would be really nice. Like this, like I said, certainly work in a pinch. If you were extremely hungry, this would be pretty satisfying, at least in a short, on a short term. I think next time maybe putting the teriyaki stick in there and kind of having like a hot dog, corn, barbecue, cheese tortilla might be the way to go. But all in all, for the items that are included with this all-go menu, you know, it's certainly worth the 20 bucks. What? What? So in the meantime, we'll try a little lemonade. We'll try to judge about half. This glass is only for eight ounces. These are normally for a 16 to 20 ounce bottle of water is what they are recommended for. So we'll try to get about half of that guy in there. Again, I'm not, an, I'm not very fond of the US MRE drink options. They're all very artificial tasting which is kind of a stinker. So we'll give that a taste while we're waiting. That, as far as an artificial lemonade, that's not too bad at all. That's way better than Crayola Red. So I guess this has had all the time it's going to get. And this has been in here for a little while. I tend to, to battle on quite a bit while I'm talking about this so I can pick the most descriptive things so you guys have the best possible description of the food. So I ramble on while I'm talking. This thing has been in the flameless ration here for quite some time. And it is just barely warm to the touch. It's just simply warm, and that's it. But if that's all you were looking for, I mean, even the center of it is not extremely warm. Just the edges are warm. And heating up a Bridgeford sandwich is okay. They tend to get a little bit on the soft and spongy side. That's what happened to this guy. But we will obviously give it a try here. 
Let's break that guy open and see what we have on the inside. So you have your standard run-of-the-mill Bridgeford mystery meat mix kind of going on in there. And this is supposed to be barbecued beef. So let's get a taste of that. See what barbecued beef has got to do. That's a little bit on the dry side. If you've had any of the Bridgeford uh, sandwiches or the Bridgeford breads, the shelf-stable breads, they have a tendency to be a little on the dry side. That's why, at this point, I completely understand the barbecue sauce and agree with it. It could certainly use it. It would help it go down a little bit. And the barbecue sauce in the USMREs isn't really that bad. It's pretty good, smoky and sweet. Not very thick. It's kind of on the runny side, but it'll certainly help this sandwich out quite a bit. I mean, this item is okay. It's not great. It is literally just in the okay category as far as flavor, texture, and certainly whatever it is that's on the interior of this. It's just artificial tasting. Where this ration item shines is the fact that it's shelf stable for an extremely long period of time. I think the expiration date on these is probably an underestimate. Honestly, I've eaten some pretty old ration items, some pretty old MRE items from Bridgeford, and they were pretty much the same as you'd get them when they're new out of the package. So whatever kind of crazy chemical concoction they put in this stuff to stabilize it, it just works. So this thing will be good for years. Uh, I would say if you had one of these in your vehicle, which is what my intent is for this, is to have one of these in my vehicle for emergencies, in case I forget my wallet, I'm extremely hungry, and I don't know. If you have some kind of emergency where you're stranded somewhere, this will work. Is it going to be the best thing ever? Absolutely not. Will it get you out of you know get you out of a jam and you know? last for an entire year through a winter and summer even in the heat and cold absolutely if you at the end of the year you pulled this out of your car and ate it you'd be just fine i don't think i'd keep it in your car for more than a year just because of the temperature difference but this certainly works i mean this is a great item to have just in case of an emergency um but again very artificial tasting not ex not an extreme comfort food or anything like that. It's just simply food. That's what first strike bar. These things are not easy to eat. They're very chewy. So you kind of have to have good teeth for this guy. It does have a nice, decent chocolate flavor. This is a lot like an old school power bar in the chewiness level. It does have some soy crisps in there this is kind of like an extremely chewy candy bar uh, ugh. so you know this is chewy in a very enjoying way it's going to take you a while to eat this which is certainly a good thing because it gives you something to do and it's kind of like a cross between a Tootsie Roll flavor and almost a mocha. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. The soy crisps in here give it just a little bit of crunchiness to go along with that extreme chewiness. And the chocolate flavor is a mild chocolate flavor, like a Tootsie Roll. This is a decent item. It's calorie dense. You know, it's it's enjoyable. You know, these first strike bars, I prefer the cranberry and the apple over the chocolate. Considering this is your desired item, it taking you a while to get through it. This is it's a pretty good addition. You know, if you've ever had USMRE cinnamon gum, this is pretty enjoyable. It's a sweet Cinnamon flavor, definitely something to chew on, clean the teeth up a little bit, freshen your breath. This isn't bad.
Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me for the Olgo Outdoors menu number two, barbecue beef sandwich MRE. This is a great alternative to a military first strike ration, great for a pack situation, uh, emergency car ration. This thing is pretty good. Menu items are a little wonky, but it's completely doable. And coming in at around 1,050 to 1,150 calories in that range, this is a pretty large, sizable meal, comparable to a standard MRE with very minimal preparation, if any, except for Crayola Red. Crayola Red needs some help. Um, I don't know how you exactly prepare that so it doesn't turn out like movie prop blood. It's kind of chunky. Mm, maybe it was just that time of the... No, we're not saying that. Lemonade was pretty good. Anyhow, whoa. But... This is a pretty good option, and for the amount of money you're paying for it, for $20, this is a great item to have with you for an emergency. So thanks for joining me on Ration Nerd. This has been Barbecue Beef Sandwich, Menu 2. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. Help me out. I'll see you next time on Ration Nerd. In the meantime, eat them up.